Hiya guys, it's Zach here from Resident Install and today we're over in Coppel and this, abs this patio is absolutely stunning. The customer's gone for a two-tone colour, we've gone for the spring haze infill and around the outskirts, which we've put a border around, we use a grey slate colour. If you'd like to see how we built this uh, patio from start to finish, watch this video for more. Hi right, guys, it's Zach here from Resident Install and today we're about to transform this 250 square metre project over in Burnley. We're going to be using two different colours. We're going to be infilling the centre with spring haze and creating a border all the way around using grey slate and also putting a large circle in the centre using a bendy bead also with the grey slate. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so the materials have arrived now and uh, we've had to get a designated Moffat to come and get all this dropped off so, so we can get it onto the job site. So that's where we're going to be working around the back. So the customer's gone with a spring haze mix as the infill of this project and then all the way around the outer edges we're going to be using the colour grey slate. You see there we've got the UV resin, we only use the UV resin. Uh, the non-UVs, not what you want as they'll start to fade within a couple of years. This is the project we're going to be working on. It works out about 250 square metres, we've got a bit of tiling work to do. These are the aluminium trims that we're going to be putting down to create the border and a big semicircle in the centre which we've got some bendy trim on this delivery using two pack glue to stick it down. Uh, some companies like to screw into the tarmac, but we don't like doing that as it will buckle the bead. That's the last thing you want, you want it to be nice and flush. One thing you've got to always remember, when you are putting um, edging around, you've got to over order on your materials. It swallows material edging, so don't ever measure up perfectly and then order that material because you will run short. So yeah, all day as we go along. Okay, so for the last 45 minutes an hour, we've been banging all the trims in, making sure they're identical in width, so it's 11 inches we're going. So where the flat nose concrete edge is there, we're going to be putting another trim on once the glue's just gone off. The glue we do use is a two-pack resin. It comes out a special nozzle there, which as both parts come out at once. So we've got the bendy bead going around this section here now. A lot of trim's gone in. There's 91 linear metre of trim that we're needing to put in, plus some. So apart from that, it's coming along perfectly. Okay, as, as you can see, it's been glued on to the concrete face. Once the soil goes up, you're hardly ever going to see this. It's just uh, in case soil drops. Then we've put the aluminium bead trim, 15mm aluminium bead trim on top of that. We've tied it up nice and neat. A lot better than putting a tile on. Okay, as you can see here, full length. Tied up no end. riding these trains in Right guys, so it's resin day here at Resin Install and today what we're doing is we're putting down the spring haze mix and it's gonna go, ah, just leave it. Right. So today we're putting the main infill of this color, of this project down. So the customer's gone with a spring haze mix and as you can see here now, it's complementing the property perfectly. This project now should take about four to five hours to get the main piece down. Then we're gonna obviously put the steps in, come back tomorrow again, beautiful this sunny day, which you need when you're installing the resin. We're gonna be putting the border in. Sometimes we do do it the opposite way around, but obviously with staffing issues, what we've had to do is go, the the infill then the border but it's not an issue we'll just put down some carpet protector make sure we're not damaging the new surface i'll update as we go along
Right guys, as you can see now, about three quarters of the way through this project, it's coming along absolutely perfectly. So as we said before, the customer's chosen the colour spring haze, and as you can see, it complements this property absolutely beautifully. So the lads have got about another hour and a half now, just until we finish this section. Then what they'll be doing is we're jumping onto the steps, infilling the steps just to set them off. We'll be coming back tomorrow afternoon, then we'll be putting the border in. Apart from that, another hour and a half on this now, we'll be on to the next. I know this was good.